W3Trends is pleased to introduce our newest app, Custom Product Options. This app will allow you to add an infinite number of fields to your product. There are many different field types to choose from, including text boxes, drop-down lists, file uploaders, and many more. You can also add custom pricing depending on the options selected by the customer. In this video, I'll be showing you the basics of adding custom options to your product. Field groups are what we call a collection of custom options and inputs for a product. These options will appear on the product detail page before a customer adds the product to their cart. I am going to create a new field group. We'll name this field group monogram. This name is only for administrators to see. Next, we need to decide what products the custom options will show up on. You can show the field group by selecting product tags or specific products. This field group will show on shirts. In addition to that, we'll add a few specific products for this field group. The editor is what you use to build your form. In the editor, we have our form on the left and our toolbox of fields on the right. These fields can be dragged and dropped onto the form. For our monogram, we'll use a drop-down list. Our options will be add monogram or no monogram. For the add monogram option, we'll identify the extra charge for the customer. We'll also add a text box for the monogram text and a file uploader for the image. Both of these will be hidden and required by default. In order to show the hidden fields when the customer selects Add Monogram, we'll use Conditional Logic. Under the Edit gear, we'll select Conditional Logic. We'll add a new Conditional Logic group. This rule will apply when the monogram dropdown is equal to Add Monogram. For Actions, we're going to show both of the other fields we just added. In addition to that, we'll add our monogram product for the extra charge. We are now ready to preview our new product options. The fields are easy for customers to see and input. Items added to the cart include the custom option information, including the extra charge grouped under the main product pricing. That's the basics of using custom product options. As you can see, it is very easy to build your own custom product options. With conditional logic and our many different field types, you can build any type of custom options you can imagine. For any questions, feel free to email us at support at w3trends.com.